In this exercise, we will learn how to create workflow definitions. At the end of this exercise, we will have learned how to create a workflow definition with the Kaleo designer, as well as adding task timers for both review tasks. Here are the steps that we will be taking in these exercises today. First, we'll create a new parallel workflow with Kaleo Designer. Then we'll add in parallel review tasks, as well as a fork and a join to connect the parallel tasks. We'll connect all of the nodes with transitions and then name the transitions. We'll then set assignments for review tasks, as well as notifications for the administrator review tasks, as well as the copy editing review tasks. Then we'll add a three-day review timer for the administrator review, as well as the copy editing review. After this exercise, there will be some bonus exercises that I won't go through, but that you can try on your own. And this includes creating a new web content for the Livingstone Hotels and Resorts site. You can assign the parallel review workflow definition to the folder. You can also add a new web content article and go through the review workflow. You'll need to have a user assigned to the site content reviewer role. But with that, let's get into the exercise. We'll start on the home page of our Livingston Hotels and Resorts site. From here, we'll click the menu. And under the Applications tab, we'll find Process Builder under Workflow. We'll add in a new workflow by clicking the Add button. From here, we'll select the connector between the start and the end node. We'll click on it. And then we'll delete this connector by clicking the Delete or Backspace button on your keyboard. We'll verify OK. And then we'll move the start and end nodes so that we can have a little more working space. Now we'll add in the parallel review tasks. So we'll drag in a task node between the start and the end node. We'll click on this new node. And then we'll double click the name value to rename it. We'll rename this as Administrator Review. We'll save this to register the changes. Now we'll go back to the Nodes tab. And then we'll drag another task node to the bottom middle of the editor between the start and the end node, right about here. We'll click this new node to rename it. And we'll double click the name again. And we'll name this Copy Editing Review. We'll click the Save button after we're done. Now we'll add in the fork and the join to connect the parallel tasks. We'll go back to the Nodes tab up here. And then we'll drag a fork to the right of the Start node. We'll double click this, double click the name value and then type in stakeholder review for the name. We'll click save, and then we'll go back to nodes, and then we'll drag in a join node to the left of the end node, right about here. We'll click the join node and rename this by double clicking the name, and we'll call this review complete. We'll save these changes. Now we'll connect all of the nodes with transitions. So we'll go back to the Nodes tab. Now we'll connect all of the nodes with transitions. We'll drag a transition arrow from the Start node over here to the Stakeholder Review task. So in order to create a transition, we'll have to find the edge of the node and the cursor turns into a plus sign when you hover over the correct spot, when you hover over the middle of the node, um, you see that it's a move arrow. So we'll have to aim at the end of the node, and then we'll drag it to the edge of the stakeholder review. And you should see an orange circle when you're lined up properly. So now we'll also do this from the stakeholder review to the administrator review task. So we'll find the cursor up here, and then we'll drag this up here. We'll drag another transition from the Stakeholder Review to the Copy Editing Review task. And then we'll drag a transition from the Administrator Review to the Review Complete Join. Another transition from the Copy Editing Review to the Review Complete. 
And then finally, a transition from the review complete join to the end node. So now you should have something that looks like this. Now we'll be naming the new transitions. We'll click the first transition to the left. We'll double click the name to rename it. And we'll call this submit for review. We'll save this. Now we'll click the transition from the top fork. We'll rename this as admin review. We'll save the changes. Now the bottom fork. We'll rename this to copy editing. Also save. And then we'll find the top join transition. We'll rename this as review complete. We'll save this. We'll find the bottom join transition. We'll rename this as copy editing complete. And then finally, we'll find the last transition at the right. We'll rename this as ready to publish. We'll save this. So now we should have our workflow looking something like this. Now we'll be setting the assignments for the review tasks. We'll click the administrator review task up at the top. And then we'll double click the assignments value to edit it. We'll click the drop down and we'll choose role type. From here, we'll see a few more drop down menus. From the role type drop down options, we'll click regular. Within role name box, we'll choose administrator. Now we'll save these changes to the assignments. We'll do something similar for the copy editing review. So we'll click on the task. And then we'll double click the assignments to edit it. We'll click the drop down and we'll choose role type again. From the role type options, we'll choose site. And then within the role name, we'll choose site content reviewer. We'll click the save button. Now, we'll set the notification for the administrator review task. So we'll click the administrator review task again. We'll find the notifications bar and we'll double click it. We'll type in administrator review notification for the name. We'll choose text within the template language dropdown. And then for the template, we'll type in that there's already an item ready for administrative review. Within the notification type, we'll click user notification. And we'll click to open the recipient type dropdown. And then we'll choose task assignees. We'll save these changes. Now we'll set the notification for the copy editing review task. We'll click on this. We'll double click the notifications to edit it. We'll call this copy editing review notification. And then within the template language, we'll choose text again. And then within the template, we'll type in that there is an item ready for copy editing. For the notification type, we'll choose user notification. And then we'll open the recipient type and we'll choose task assignees. We'll save these changes as well. Now we'll add in a three day review timer for the administrator review task. So we'll select the task again. We'll find timers and we'll double click to edit it. And we'll call this review timer. We'll type in three for the duration. From the scale, 
we'll choose day as the value. And then we'll check the blocking text box. And then we'll choose notification for the type dropdown. For this name, we'll call this immediate action required in all caps. And for the template language dropdown, we'll type in text. And we'll type in that it has been three days since the item was submitted for review. You can copy my screen here. Now for the notification type, we'll choose user notification. We'll click to open the recipient type dropdown and we'll choose role type. We'll choose regular from the role type dropdown actions. And then within the role name box, we'll choose administrator. We'll save all of these changes now. Now we'll add a three day review timer for the copy editing review task. We'll click on the copy editing review task. We'll double click the timers to edit it. We'll call this review timer for the name. For a duration, we'll call it three as well. And we'll change the scale to day. We'll check the blocking checkbox. And we'll choose notification for the type dropdown. We'll type in immediate action required for the name. For the text, we'll choose text for template language. And then under the template, I'll type something that you can copy onto your screen. Now for the notification type, we'll select user notification. We'll open up the recipient type dropdown and we'll click role type. Here, we'll select site for role type. And within the role name box, we'll select site content reviewer. We'll click the auto create button and we'll click save. Now, after all of these changes, we'll click publish at the bottom left. Whoops, we'll need to rename this workflow because we didn't give it a name. And we'll name this Parallel Review. So we'll publish it now. And we should be able to see this when we go back into the Process Builder. 